Hey everybody! I've been nominated to be the host of Easter dinner. That's fine with me. My mom and brother are coming, and Brian will be here, and hopefully Scott, and maybe his girlfriend. I don't really know. Um, nothing's concrete in that department. Also, I don't know what time, so I'm just setting a time, 2 p.m. As far as I know, we're having ham and mashed potatoes, veg a couple of veg vegetables. And my mom is having problems uh, being able to eat. She's skinny as a stick, and she doesn't eat much. She has some problems. I don't know if it's all the medicine that, you know, some of the older people have so much medicine that they could practically rattle as they walk down the street. I don't know. I don't agree with that myself, and hopefully I'll never have to be in that position. But <clears throat> I'm trying to think of things to serve that everyone will eat, or most people will eat, that my mom can eat. And uh, she said, well, what are you having for dessert? I hadn't really thought of it. I thought about making some kind of little soft cookies or something. Oh, I can't eat that. I can't eat that. So I'm not really sure what to do. I don't know if she likes this flavor, that flavor, whatever. I can always make some type of a pudding or something. I mean, there's always something I can do and spice it up or jet not spice, but you know, jazz it up so that it's uh looks cool, not just pudding or something, you know. I don't know. <clears throat> I'm fairly creative in the kitchen, which is cool. I like I like doing that. I'm tired. I don't know why. My sleep and wake schedule is all messed up. The other day I was up at 3 in the morning. And then sometimes I go back to sleep. Sometimes I fall asleep sitting here at the computer. This It's really strange. And it's not just getting old. I don't know. My Brian said that I, you've got to get your sleep schedule together. In other words, how are you going to get a job if you fall asleep? I used to always fall asleep at department meetings. People used to take bets as to how many minutes until I fell asleep. They really didn't have anything to say, and it was extremely boring, and everyone had to be there, and I would always... I think there was only one meeting I ever sat through that I never fell asleep. But people would giggle and laugh, and they'd place bets on how, how long it would take me to fall asleep. <laughs> Oh my gosh. Tomorrow is Easter. It's a Christian holiday called Easter. And presently there's Passover, which is a uh, Judaic holiday. <sighs> or something. I don't know. Anyway, a lot of families get together for various holidays. Whether they celebrate them or not, they still get together and they have a big meal or whatever, which is what we're going to do tomorrow. And last time I said I was going to come up with some type of word games or something that we could all sit around and laugh. That That's a good family gathering when it ends with tummies hurting from laughing. <laughs> so I am, laughter is good for you. It really is. And people say, some people have said, well, if your life is so miserable and you're unemployed and you're so sad, and this and that and the other thing. Why do you laugh in your video? Sometimes that's about all you can do, really. When life is so insane, that's about all you can do, is laugh at yourself or laugh at the situation. I mean, that's where humor comes from, right? Adversity and problems. And this vlog is going off into a tangent. I'm tired, my brain is tired. Yeah, I have to clean the house and prepare some stuff ahead of time, and I haven't done it. I haven't done it at all. There's a couple things I need from the grocery store, but it's two miles away, and one is like a something that could melt. So I either have to ask my brother to drop me off at the store, pick me up at the store, or I have to walk, or it's a pain in the butt. Pain in the butt being poor. I think a lot of people out there know that, but 
You know, I am so glad that I have all you guys out there. It makes me feel so good in my heart because when you feel like you got someone out there that understands you even a little bit, you feel good. You feel validated. Not violated. Validated. Although sometimes. <laughs> Upward and onward. <laughs>